Mills and Siemens, Mobileye and Ordnance Survey, Vector Zero, and Metamoto. The beginning of 2019 has been marked by industry leaders in the Internet of Things and autonomous vehicles coming together to solve problems in tandem. Engineering.com sat down with some experts recently to discuss how sharing skills and data in the name of progress is gaining steam this year. There hasn't been an ever a better time than to be involved in innovation, startups and innovation ecosystem. There's exciting new products being created every day. It used to be that many organizations had the, the capabilities in-house to innovate from scratch if you think about automotive. But today, as we move to driverless and autonomous, for instance, there's no clear supply chain of existing vendors. So uh, you need hardware skills, software skills, automotive skills, user experience, design skills. Uh, to be successful and really there isn't all of those capabilities under one roof today and uh, so we need to put together teams of people that can really create great new products. Partnerships can also serve as a survival tactic in highly competitive marketplaces. Alec Fesiak of Aero Electronics explains. I would tend to say uh, more collaboration is needed. We're starting to see more of that. I worked for a company you know known as Motorola right where are they today? These are the inventors of the cell phone. Um, back then, uh, there wasn't a whole lot of collaboration. It was all about, let's keep it within our walls. We'll just throw money at it and, and, and that'll move it forward, right? And, and in part, uh, they're no longer here because of lack of collaboration. For IoT and AI and um, all of these emerging technologies to really flourish there are so many areas of expertise that need to be called on that it can really only be attained um, through collaboration. So if we look at some of the leading organizations in the world, they themselves are looking to collaborate with companies that previously could be considered their competition. And they're doing that because they understand the importance of that collaboration to move the needle and to be successful. At the advent of 5G, autonomous vehicles and Industry 4.0, the need for smaller, more efficient, and less costly sensors in IoT is moving beyond smart spaces and cities to find uses in product life cycle management, agriculture, animal husbandry, and other products and services. In fact, the convergence of different technologies working together to solve problems allows for the cross-pollination of ideas and innovation between companies who would otherwise be direct competitors. We asked the experts to elaborate where they see technical convergence being utilized best in development and manufacturing. You know, when we think about it, IoT in, in its fundamental terms is really machine to machine. And machine to machine has been around for a significant amount of time. We're seeing the declining prices in sensors today, which are taking uh, the cost of a sensor from, from dollars or hundreds of dollars to pennies. And so with the, that decline in price, we can connect anything from a Fitbit to our car to our nuclear power station and use those sensors to help make better decisions and innovate more effectively. IoT is really an extension of what the vehicle is capable of doing, whether it's looking at the tire pressure as an example, or it's looking at speed and, and environmental concerns and making assessments based upon that. Those are sort of IoT uh, related aspects, but it's really the IoT technologies that extend the car's ability to talk to back-end systems. So we talk about IoT sensors talking to cloud systems through the fog and everything else. Well, well, really in a car, it's the same technologies of sending this data, collecting it, and sending it back into a data system to be analyzed. So if we look at uh, autonomous vehicles, the aggregation of the data and what we're going to do with it and assessing it and analyzing it is going to become a key factor and that's how IoT plays in that kind of system. Miniaturization, battery life has, has definitely improved um, and we're also seeing people making decisions now on edge compute versus cloud. One of the biggest changes that we're seeing in IoT is the involvement of AI. So the um, integration of AI at the edge as well as AI in the cloud. What's next? Be it bettering safety in autonomous vehicles, optimizing manufacturing processes, or leveraging 5G for smart cities, smaller, cheaper sensors require industry to think outside the box. And sometimes that means thinking outside their own walls. What do you think? Share your comments with us below, and if you're interested in learning more about this topic, check out our article on engineering.com. The link is in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to get more content just like this.